Praise God, praise God. I told y'all I was coming back. So I'm going to wait for a couple of people and I'm just going to zoom. Got to go, got to go, got to go. I ain't playing. Because I'm telling you, the anointing that God is laying on his people in this hour. Excuse me, y'all. You have to be pure or it's going to backlash you or it's going to expose you. Come on, somebody. God is not playing. God is not playing in this moment, this time, in this hour. Hallelujah. I'm waiting for y'all. Okay. Enough of y'all on here. That's fine for me. So, God wanted me to tell y'all, your pastor, your preacher, your apostle, your prophet, whomever corrects you doesn't mean that they're hating on you. Now, there are some people that do hate or are jealous. Let's just be real. You know that. But for the most part, if someone really corrects you or gives you a profit or even expose you, honey, that is for your good. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God says, stop getting mad and getting offended when somebody correct you, because that's where the church come from. That's what we do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I just told y'all my story. And this happened from 27 till now. I still get corrected. My mentors will call me from California. You think it's a game? I got two of them. They'll call me talking about, uh, what's up? <laughs> and I, and I better explain, but, but thank you, Lord. Everybody ain't got grown. You grown. That's why your grown self is in the trouble you are spiritually. Because what is it to gain the whole world and lose your soul, sister, brother? Hallelujah. Nobody want nobody to tell them nothing. Most of y'all are out of order. Don't know protocol. Don't know who to call. Come on, somebody. We have a rebellious church at this time. Rebellious members. Rebellious people. You talk crazy. You act crazy. Don't want nobody to tell you nothing. And y'all all clicks. Oh, I'm going to say it the truth. Y'all all clicks. You can always tell the ones that, that think they better than everybody else because y'all all hanging together. Mm, I just said something. From the famous ones to gospel music to whatever. Late. Y'all all hanging together. The real ones, we all hanging together. The liars, they all hanging together. Oh, did I say it like that? I'm saying it like that. Hallelujah. And God is still exposing. So just because somebody correct you does not mean they don't like you and i i'm gonna do my disclaimer every prophecy every exposure everything that i've ever said upon here i promise before god in the backside, sometimes they call me sometimes we talk and they'll even tell me i apologize i didn't know but first they talk to god i don't hate nobody i'm not jealous of nobody I'm in my own lane. Yo, oh, let me preach this thing how God told me. Nobody could beat you being you. Because your assignment is for you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can't beat me at being me. My assignment is for me, baby. Come on, somebody. Nobody could be you because your assignment is for you. So y'all need to stop all that competition. And, and, and I, I know people that, let me tell you something. God told me this too. That are in competition with me. Honey, I'm about to go here. I'm 53. If you're younger than me, you're supposed to go further. But now, hold on. Just stay holy now. Stay anointed now. Don't fool me. Don't fool yourself. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. The people that I've taught, I've taught over 700 people. You can ask every last one of them. I say, you're supposed to be better than me. Stronger. More anointed. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. So I'm going to call you. I don't care who you are. I will call you out. You better not play with me. I'm going to call you out. You can get mad if you want. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Because either you're packing or you're not. And I'm so tired of y'all, y'all people, y'all fake. Y'all fake. Y'all fake. Y'all fake. Y'all sorry, sorry. You don't got no anointing. That means you ain't spending no time with God. That means you're doing your own thing. That means you in sin. That means you got a mouth. Because death and life are in the power of the mouth. Proverbs 18:21. It'll build you up or it'll tear you down. I'm telling you what God say. And any leader. You supposed to call out wrong or God going to get you or better yet. You're going to lose your anointing. Y'all don't understand how this works because the church have not taught people protocol. And that's because y'all going online and getting these little certificates. I'm a minister. You ain't even no men ain't no stuff because you don't know nothing. You first of all, you don't know the Bible. Then y'all go get y'all evangelist thing. Y'all bishop thing. Y'all apostle thing. I mean, I'm not. I'm not the, the brightest person, but, and even some of you older people, you can get mad if you want. I know about five of them where I'm from in Louisiana. Now, you said you was a pastor. Now, all of a sudden, you're an apostle, and you're a reverend, doctor. Y'all better stop playing with God. God don't give nobody no three or four titles. Stop playing with God. God give you one title for your one calling. 
Sometimes we have two callings, but you ain't got no two titles. <laughs> they ain't ready for me. They ain't ready for me. And you wonder why you can't walk in that because you wasn't ordained in that. That's why I stepped down from being an apostle. Now, I was powerful, but I promise you, when I stepped down from being an apostle, because I always knew I was a prophet, my anointing, it came back up. Mm -hmm. I don't mind saying it. And I was like, thank you. And that's probably why the enemy came and just all kind of stuff happened. I mean, y'all know. It is what it is. And no, I wasn't embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? I allowed people to talk me into taking that apostleship. And guess what? I was woman enough to get up on here and tell y'all I repent. Tell God I repent and step down. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. But but y'all don't want to do it. And now you're not understanding why everything is not operating and why you ain't got no power to devour. But you're getting devoured. Because instead of being humble and say, you know what? I made a mistake. But that's, thank you, Lord. That's that competition spirit. I, I got to be her. I got to be him. Oh, I'm about to go in. I'm about to, I got to. Don't you know when you do that, <laughs> you lose something? Because you're so focusing on the, the person or this or that. That you don't even understand that. Every, when you are anointed, you have to go from level to level, from process to process. So if you just watching that person, and, and most people, are, that's what they're doing right now. There's so much competition in the body crisis, it's not even funny. You're doing stuff just because somebody else doing it. Mm, I'm wondering if I should say this. I'm just wondering. Because I always ask God, because I never want to go before God. Mm -mm, that's, that's enough of that. We gotta Before you open your mouth, make sure it's God. I don't think you want me to say that. That was me. Okay, so I ain't going to say it. But I will say this. No, I was going to talk about somebody being in competition with me. And how I know because everything I did, I see that they did it with the person that I did it. They went a little further. And they did it this. And I'm going to stop right there because God said, stop. And that's another thing. When God said, shut up, shut up. Come on, somebody. When God say, talk, talk. Y'all want to do what y'all want to do. A renegade spirit. And that's why the church ain't got no power. Pastor can't tell you nothing. Teacher can't tell you nothing. Apostle can't tell you nothing. And then you got your church leaders. They just, I don't even know what they're doing. But don't worry. Because I'm going to tell you this. God said, that's my church. You are just a steward. He said, how you going to build up on another man's foundation? That's God's church. That's not your church. And that's why it's not growing like that. Oh, let me just say it how it really is. You see, when one is anointed and one is not, if God take the anointed one, now you ain't got no anointing. Now you, now you got to really go to God. That's why this happening to your church, pastor, preacher, teacher. Because you never got the anointing that you never had because you never went to God. Y'all just want to do stuff, just doing stuff. You cannot do it unless God co-signs. And whatever is birthed in the flesh, you got to maintain it. That's why some of y'all stressed. Because you're trying to make it happen. Manipulate, which is witchcraft. When it is God, God say, I'll start it and I'll finish it. So, with anything that is birthed in the flesh, you got to maintain. Anything that's birthed in the spirit, God is obligated to it. That's why every time, I ain't going to lie, I've made mistakes. Y'all know that. I come back, God, I repent. Because I need God. I can't do this by myself. I refuse to do this by myself. Because then if I do that, I'll mess up and hurt somebody. I'll do something I ain't got no business. This is God's kingdom. Let's operate the way God have called us to. You cannot do this without the anointing of God. You cannot do this without accountability. Some of y'all just, y'all ain't got no covering. Y'all ain't got no covering. Ain't nobody can tell you nothing. You just a renegade. Preaching, teaching. And yet, there's no lineage. There's no legacy. You, you don't have that, thank you, Lord, the foundation. You see, the foundation it must be strong. Because if it's not strong, the enemy going to come. Oh, he coming. Oh, you could better believe he coming. And if you're not strong, that's why a lot of people are falling. Because you're building and you never made sure that foundation was right. How was that foundation right? God didn't release me till I was... 40 years old. I'm 53. I was mad. I was mad. I, I, I told him, I said, God, why are you? He said, because of you. He said, you had so much stuff in you, I had to get it out of you. You, you, you. you was holding on to it. As long as you live, there's a process that God is cleaning you out, putting something in. Cleaning you out, putting something in. Cleaning you out, purifying your heart, cleansing your mind, speaking your speech, your walk, your talk. Everything must change until he see him. Yeah, you starting to look like me. Mm -hmm. Until then, <laughs> you, you, and God don't accept flesh. He said, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. 
So if you can't walk in the spirit, oh, you ain't talking the truth. Come on now. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Hallelujah. I said stop playing now. Hallelujah. Hmm. Y'all wonder why the church ain't got no power. Y'all wonder why ain't nobody getting healed and delivered for real. Not for real, for real. Come in the church and leave with some stuff. Instead of being cleansed and purified, you leave with some stuff. Talking about, well, why am I dreaming about that? Why? And that's another thing. I don't, I don't care what y'all say. You see how people say, hug your neighbor. Honey, if a witch and a warlock, my neighbor, I'm looking at, don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. <laughs> don't touch me. Y'all think I'm playing. I have walked out of churches. Don't touch me. A pastor touched me one time. Let me tell y'all this. I went to preach in, Ca in California. And I had an armor bearer, you see, and you have to pray about your armor bearer. I knew she wasn't strong, but I knew she was a good person, right? And I told them when we went in there, I said, God say, don't let nobody touch me from the back. I'm a, I got my front, but I can't see behind me. Come on, you know, especially if it's, it was a crowded place. So I had just got through preaching. And so God told me, say, don't even eat, just leave. So I already knew when he said that, the place was tainted. Preach, leave. Honey, I'm going out the door that pastor did like this. I turned around. I said, you have no authority to touch me. He just looked at me. And I had just preached at his church. I don't care. You had no authority to touch me. Do you know? And I looked at my armor bearer. You know, I chewed her. I said, you, you were supposed to cover me. Hallelujah. Come out to the power of God. Y'all know what happened? So by the time I got even out the church around the corner, I started regurgitating. Then when we was driving home, she had to pull on side of the road. I had to regurgitate again. And she just looking at me. I said, you don't understand. That was a warlock. And he was trying to put something on me. And now I have to regurgitate it to get it out of me. Come on, somebody. I don't think y'all understand how real this is. Because the, 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 this world is teaching y'all, everything ain't spiritual. The devil is a liar. It's all spiritual. If you don't believe it, look at Netflix. Why do you think they got all the Bible titles? If you don't, all you got, why they got the, uh, the recreation of the Tower of Baal? Why, why they talk, why they all, everything spiritual. The devil just created all this stuff as an illusion. And we brought it. I ain't gonna lie. I was into it too. Go to school, get your degree. The American dream where it was American nightmare. Lied to us our whole life. Pharaoh system. And now, where we at? God is pulling us out of this system. God is saying, come out, come out, come out. It's come be separate, be separate, be separate. And you got your Pharisees and Sadducees. Don't get mad at me. I'm going to walk it like I talk it. You know who the Pharisees and Sadducees is? The famous ones. You can get mad if you want to. They didn't touch the unclean thing. Why you think they're where they at? Y'all ain't ready for me. Because the real ones, they know that if we preach it, we're going to reach it. Hallelujah! You're going to get delivered, baby. Hallelujah. You're going to get healed. You're going to get healed, delivered, up in here, up in here. So we can't let, we, we can't let the anointed have a voice. N not to the nations. They ain't ready for me, God. But the ones that are not anointed, we, we can allow them to. And ain't nobody jealous. I'm just being real. God told me that years ago. I, I didn't really believe it. I believe it today. Because I'm watching it. I'm not saying that they don't have a, a little anointing. I'm not saying that they can't preach and teach. I'm saying they can't reach. And if you ain't reaching, then what good is your teaching and preaching? Pastor, apostle. Because don't, 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 don't preach me happy. Preach me saved. Hallelujah. Because I got some stuff. I got some demons I'm dealing with. Here, there, everywhere. Because if you're a true woman of God and a true man of God, they're after you. Life ain't just peachy, peachy. Come on, somebody. Y'all know it's real. A uh, 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 <laughs> pastor going to tell me, uh, why are you always talking about spiritual warfare? Because I'm always in it. Why are you not in it, pastor, preacher, teacher? Because <laughs> you ain't anointed like me. That's why. And I'm not trying to be arrogant because that's not my spirit. I think y'all should know that. So that's why I'm always in it. I got to stay. Look, look, look how they food poisoned me this, this week. Y'all, I, I felt like I was going to. I got to watch my words. You know, I'm not lying. So God helped me. I didn't go to the doctor. God said, Deanna, eat some rice and drink some milk. And he said, you're going to, you know, I don't want to be derogatory. And that, that's how, and that's, hold on. It just ended yesterday. That's why I'm on here today. Because God had been to me, but I couldn't even get up out the bed. I was hurting so bad and crying. I said, God, why? Why people trying to hurt me? He said, you know why? But I told you not to order no food. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I, I, I'm real with mine. I ain't going to lie about nothing. So, okay, that's on me. 
tired or no tired, you better get yourself up and eat and cook. Then I tell y'all, God say, stop eating in restaurants and stop because they witchcraft on their hands. And and even when I used to eat out, let me tell you something. I would start, I would, I would start um, spitting up. And I'm trying not to be derogatory. I say, God, what is this? He said, because who prepared your hand? Thank you, Lord. I went to Wendy's in Louisiana one day. And the first thing of chili, I had to go to run to the bathroom and I was regurgitating. So I came out of the restroom and I said, who fixed my food? And they pointed at a guy and I said, oh, man, he looked just like a warlock. I say, so I really don't eat out like that. But you know, every now and then, I guess you get lazy and you be like, I'm going to order something, honey. Shouldn't have did it. I pe This week was, the whole week I was sick. The whole week I, I was, <sighs> it wasn't even cool. I repented and I was like, okay, God, this is real. I got to protect me. And that's why I get up in here and I tell y'all the truth. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not lying. I'm not trying to whatever. We are in warfare. And it's getting heavier. And time for people to stop playing. Because people are dying out there. Because we're not doing what we're supposed to do in here. Come on, somebody. It's the church fault. It's point blank. It's our fault. We're not going to the highways and byways. Because we're trying to be all. We want to be a star. <laughs> And can't lay hands on a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I said, can't, can't, just can't. Can't even have laying hands on yourself. During this weekend, nobody can't visit me. I laid hands on myself. I anointed myself. Stay with, stay packing, stay strapped. It's on my website, www.apostledanadixon.com. I stay anointing. I, I have to every day, every day, every day, every day. Sometimes I used to get, I say, God, why I got to anoint myself? He said, you know why. You are anointed. They are after you. All we did was trade places with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I don't think y'all understand that. What they did to Jesus, they should do to us. Read your Bible. And that's another thing. Most of you don't read your Bible anymore. Even on audio. When I can't read the Bible, I put it on audio. Today, I, I, I did First Peter, Second Peter, Mark, all of Mark. And John, and then I think I stopped at Ezekiel because I'm riding, I'm doing, I got to get that word in because I know I'm in a warfare and God expects you to do your part, people. People are just, let me tell you what's happening. The enemy is dangling them carrots and we just grabbing them carrots and we just all happy. And then when the warfare come, or God allows something because God don't do bad things. God allow it and you get hit. Then you want to, what happened? You didn't, you wasn't prayed up. <laughs> you wasn't strapped. You wasn't ready. It's not the idea of getting ready. You better prepare now. Them people I'm telling you, I, I'm going to say it again. Those deaths around here, those killing, especially in Atlanta, Georgia, just, man, there's been some weird stuff going on here. Those are hits. And it's going to be some more hits. And then when they, you see that gun law drop, just pray. Because that's what martial law, and I keep saying it on purpose. I feel like I'm, it's a sense of urgency. And that's why I preach so much with passion. When martial law hit, I'm one of the first ones they're coming for. I'm telling you, I, I already know my fate. But don't cry for me, I'm going to heaven. Trust me. Or I'm going to go here. I, I feel myself tonight. They're going to execute me publicly. And watch how I take it like a soldier. Hallelujah. I ain't scared. Bring it, baby. Bring it. I saw that. Yeah, I, I, I'm exp I saw it. So I know what they're going to do to me. Scared? What you talking about? <laughs> I do this for real. He, 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 he kept me. He loved me. For, so for him I live and for him I will die. <laughs> they know it. I tell them all the time when they doing what they do. I ain't scared. He, he picked the right one. That's why I've been through all that stuff so I could stand today. And when it's my time, that's why y'all better listen to what us true prophets are saying. Because the real ones, they're going to have us in FEMA camps and executing us. The fake ones, they're going to be left. And, and yeah, I don't know what to tell y'all. You better get close to Jesus. And remember everything we say. <sighs> they think it's a game, God. They think it's a game. I ain't told my whole family. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. So I, I, I'm done. That's right. Melinda, I like that she said no fear. That's right. God said, I've not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And that is a true man and woman of God. We have power, 
We have love and a sound mind. That's why I say I'm not a hater. I'm not like that. But I'm going to say what does say the Lord. Because when I get to heaven, and I will, I want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. He didn't say star. He didn't say celebrity. And when you say stuff like that, they think, no. Let me tell y'all something. I, I just turned out a record deal. Atlantic Records. I got it in my email. Every week they asking me to, I'm cool. Because I'm, first of all, you're not going to own my master. Second of all, you're not, you're not going, I don't, I don't trust y'all. Y'all might try to do this and do that. Now, if it was a, 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 a gospel one per se, maybe. I just want to do what God want me to do. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not, every week them people email me, sign this contract. I ain't signing nothing. Period. Not from y'all. They even put money in Zelle account. I never touched it. This was a week and a half ago. I never touched it. And God knows I could use a little something, something. I didn't touch it. Play with me. Try to get me with that carrot. <laughs> That's it. That's all God told me to say, y'all. Well, I love you. God bless you. Let's just be, let's just be who God have called us to be. Let's stay strong. It's almost over. I know y'all don't believe it. Every prophecy have been fulfilled people of God there's only one left before Jesus come the gospel must be preached around the world you don't know when that's gonna happen but it can happen any day every prophecy have been fulfilled go ahead ask the leaders ask scholars ask anybody every prophecy the only one that haven't been fulfilled is that the gospel must be preached to the whole world when that happens that's a wrap that's a wrap and a lot of people think Y'all think um, the rapture, I keep hearing people say, oh, we're going to get, <laughs> I'm so sorry to tell y'all, we're going to go through some things before the rapture comes. I know y'all think we're going to just, woo, out of here, bye, everybody, bye. Okay, then I'm I'm getting, I'm going to go really deep on y'all. I, I never forget, one of my, my spiritual sons got mad at me for saying this. Even when the rapture comes, do you actually think God is going to take everybody? Because if he takes everybody, then who's going to be left to minister? They ain't ready for me. Do you think God going to, if he take everybody, then who going who gonna to be left to minister? <laughs> so God needs some soldiers. That's why he says, uh, he says it in this word, he said, there are some that will not taste death <laughs> until I come. God is going to need some soldiers in this end time. That's going, God, I'll stay. I'll minister. I'll witness. <laughs> I know it's deep. I, I know, I know it's tight, but it's right. So God bless you and God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.